totems up. Yeah, because looks like there's no jungle presence on the enemy team. She's dead. Look at this. Look at this. What's she? What is he doing? Like you had to back, man. You cannot just show her back and then just walk up to me. What is up beautiful people, it's Celadon here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Conquest as Bologna. Uh, in solo lane, obviously, against what looks like a top tier solo lane or Yemoja. Probably this game is gonna be hard, but I have a good feeling about this, so maybe it won't be as bad. Let's grab a Warriors. Oh. Jukes, Jukes, we got the Juke Boots, we got the Warriors passive. We already got one stack, we warded it up with the new wards. By the way, we have multi pots because we cannot stack the potions anymore. It's something you need to remember in season seven. I'm gonna just clean up. Unfortunately, I gotta stun here. Oh, gotta just clean up with my hammer. Nothing unusual. This man is really good with landing his stunts. We gotta give him that. I'm gonna take a lot of poke here, but you think this is a dance pretty party? much traded evenly, and I think I'm gonna make to that experience without losing anything on the lane, which is nice. And looks Double like kill. he is Good. actually losing. Wow. Oh, he keeps he just keeps stunning. Me. What a man. What a player. Wow. Let's see if I can clear this wave before the blue expires. Wow. I don't think I will be able to. Let's mark it for the XP and hope for the best. Grab this real quick. Come back as soon as we can. I think I missed nothing. Yeah, I missed a little bit of gold, but it's not a big deal. He's playing very passively. He looks like he tries to regen all me's. He wastes his stun. Cannot stun me out of my bludgeon. Means that we're gonna clear much faster than he is. Let's heal up a bit. He is applying a lot of poke and I'm losing some potions now. Okay, we took that pretty well. Oh, he might be dead here. He might be dead here. Come on, man. Come here. No? No? You want to come close? You want to come close? There you go, man. I don't know what this man was thinking. Like, come on, man. I'm below enough of all things. You don't just play around like that around me. Okay, I think we should just back here. I think, yeah, I need a pocket totem here, actually. Kind of forgot team. about that. But it was quite intense till this point, so there wasn't really a good opportunity to get that. Because, because Yemoja has no mana, she barely needs blue buff, and she is always relevant. Like, she never runs out of mana. She just keeps spamming her abilities. Kind of unfortunate, really. But her massive, massive upside is her 2 and her auto attack passive that she can heal with, which she completely misses in solo lanes, so I don't really feel like Yemoja is a very good solo laner, and I feel like a lot of people agree with me, but some people actually say she's like godlike tier, but she is, she, she is pretty godlike, but in support, which is not a solo lane, not a solo lane at all. Let's poke some poke. Let's go, baby. I think if I slow him down here, he might die. No, oh, I gotta get stunned again. It's not a big deal. We're gonna have level 5 very soon if he comes up again. He's dead in the water. Look at him, look at him. He's coming, he's coming. He's really impatient. He really wants that experience. He's dead. Like, I don't know, man. This guy gets soloed twice now. Another totem for our team, which is nice. I'm gonna waste my bludgeon for it because I'm gonna back anyway, so it's not a big deal. Looks like our team is doing great on the other lanes as well. This might be an early surrender. Hopefully it's not gonna be. People tend to surrender as soon as I have a good game. So maybe I should have like double uploads for the same video, like two games in one video. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea, by the way. Uh, gotta get stunned again. This man is pretty good with landing in them stunts. You gotta give him that, but 
I don't know. I can just heal it up, and he really can't. Poke him a little bit here. Our ultimate is coming up. I'm not sure that he's aware, but I'm killing him in a couple seconds here. Let's see if the blue's up. No, he just got dropped. He's coming in. He's dead. Nothing you can do about that. That's three times sold now. Fortunately, their jungler is quite passive. Probably he has trouble in other lanes, so he cannot help her. Thus, we can just do whatever we want. I'm returning left lane. I went to attack speed boots because I feel like Bologna really benefits off of attack speed in general. And in my opinion, if you can give get even the smallest benefit of, of attack speed on the character, you should go ninja tabby right now instead of the power tabby because really 20 power makes no difference and 25 attack speed is a lot stronger than 20, 25, 20 power and also a lot of mana. Just in general, just too many stats. You should always go ninja tabby in my opinion really. Unless you're planning to stack a lot of attack speed in your build. It's starting to get a little, a uh, little boring here. This man doesn't want to fight anymore. Obviously, let's kill him. Dude, let's see if we can kill him. Maybe just, bot. just some poke. Yeah, great poke. Gonna clean this up real quick. Let's see if I can sustain until my teleport comes up. That'll be lit. Just a little bit more poke. We can play as aggressive as we want because the totems up. Yeah, because looks like there's no jungle presence on the enemy team. She's dead. Look at this. Look at this. What she? What is he doing? Like you had to back, man. You cannot just show a back and then just walk up to me, expecting that I'm not gonna kill you. Like how many times do you need to die to understand that? Like it works. And the, the scariest thing about Bologna is that like my ultimate. Is coming up really soon. Enemy missing left. Let's see if I can poke her out as well. Nah, that's not a big deal. Let's go, that wasn't baby. really important to harass her. If I wanted to be like a real asshole, I would have just zoned her. Let's grab this blue, and my teleport is coming up, so <laughs> challenge accepted, challenge completed. Wow. Poggers. Oh man, my team is just destroying everybody, and so do I. I can take this poke from a tower, because I can heal it back. Actually, this was way out of the range. Let's ult her and see what happens. He's ulting back. Oh, that stun saved his life, actually. Really unfortunate. But it's fine, it's fine. We still have a portal and we have way too much gold, like holy smacks. No reason to hold we gotta back. get Berserkers and probably go for early and chilies, I guess. And that's it. We got defense, we got sustain. This man cannot do anything anymore. I will let him back. I will just let him back, like I don't care. Like, let him walk all the way up here. Yeah, actually, he him backing, fight. he's gonna miss. No, he actually wasted his teleport. Fine, fine, it's fine. Let's see if we can kill him again. Yet another stun. I guess in melee range, it's really easy to land those stuns, huh? When I'm attacking him pretty slow. Kind of feels like a mirror wall in this regard. You just pop it on top of you while you run away. Let's see what you can do. You, you really can't do anything, huh? Let's see. Come on. Let's fight. What's happening? Why are you not fighting? Gonna clean these up real quick. Berserker Shield is gonna heal me up. And since we're not afraid of the jungler, we're just gonna throw this tower down. Maybe should have popped my three to heal up a little bit more. Place this ward over here and clean up this blue buff. 
We now have more control over the solo lane because of the tower drop. We can grab this blue buff. This is now my blue buff. I don't give a shit anymore. Remember that time I had like red HP? Yeah, me neither. Oh, Aphrodite's in my lane for some reason, huh? She's level 10. Let's see what we can do with her. What's up, girl? Are you staying AFK here? Oh no. Oh, aww. We got her beats. It's fine. It's fine. She unfortunately pushed me out of my bludgeon. Oh, looks like Athena's coming here. They think. Let's pretend that I'm afraid. Oh, that's another bludgeon. Unfortunate. Let's focus on Athena. She has nothing here. She should be very much dead. That's a one. Thor is leaving me, but it's fine. That's a two. Who else is coming here? Oh, you? Come here, bitch. Let's sort this out. That's a three. With the help of Odin, of course. It's not like I'm not noticing. Oh. Oh. Alrighty then. <laughs> yeah, I guess Yemoja is not a really good solo leader, huh? Just keep her in the support lane. Get her out of here. Really nothing to analyze here. In terms of damage, I am way, way, way ahead of anyone on my or the enemy team. And in terms of build, it's too early. I'm going pretty cookie cutter build for Bologna within Chile, which is the item I really love. Hopefully, guys, you enjoyed the video. And if you did, as always, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.